right, so we're going to look at variables and equations. And what does V stand for? Valuable. Okay, and R? Regular. And what are we talking about? What's valuable and what's regular in this question? Valuable cards and regular cards. Yeah, we're talking about somebody's card collection, right? And they've given us a whole bunch of information about it. They've told us that V plus R is equal to 50. So what does that mean? Valuable cards plus regular cards equals 50 cards. Perfect. Excellent. What about B? They've told us that V is equal to R plus 16. What does that mean? It means that valuable cards yeah. equals um, regular cards mm -hmm. plus 16. So you're adding the regular cards and the extra 16. To get what? To get B. To get how many valuable cards there are. Good. And then the last one, what does it say? R plus 16 plus R equals 50. Which so means? Regular cards plus 16 plus regular cards equals 50. Very good. Okay. Now, D, they're asking us to actually figure this out. And this can be difficult. Okay. Because what I want you to realize when we look at this is this is very much like a scale. When we have an equal sign, how many of each kind of card does he have? Yeah. So this is like a scale, this equal sign. Okay, have you ever seen a scale before? They're kind of like a tilt. Have you ever seen like a teeter-totter? Yeah? So, a teeter-totter, we're going to describe this kind of like a teeter-totter. Okay, and right now, the teeter-totter is very even. Okay? So, obviously, 50 is very heavy, right? Because 50 is even with R, 16, and R. Okay? So... What we need to do is we need to get our R's by themselves. Okay, and if this is the middle of the teeter-totter, and we want just the R's on the left, what do we have to move to the right side? The 16? The 16, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to eliminate 16 on both sides. Okay, so if this is a plus 16, how do we make that a zero? Minus 16? That's right. So, ready? On our teeter-totter, we're going to create it again. It's the same teeter-totter here. And let's get our line. So, on this teeter-totter, remember the equal sign is always the middle of it. We have R plus 16, and we're going to subtract 16, okay? And then plus R. Now, in order to keep this balanced, see how I added a 16 to the left side? What am I going to have to do the right side? this part of it mm. to keep it balanced because whatever whatever weight we put on one we have to put the same weight on the other to keep it balanced right so if i have 50 what was the new thing i put on the left the 16 minus so, 16 so i'm gonna have to put it where also to keep it balanced it, you're gonna have to put it beside the 50 also yeah that's right so we have to subtract 16 from here in order to keep this balanced okay now tell me this what is 16 minus 16 16 minus 16 is 0. 0. Okay, so let's draw our teeter-totter again. Okay. And let's make it balanced. Where does the equal sign go? In the middle. Right in the middle. Okay. So 16 and 16 equals 0. So put our 0. We still have R, so R plus 16. And then these two 16s, I'm going to say like they kind of canceled out, right? And we're just left with plus r. Do I need to include zero? Does zero have any weight to it? No. Not really. So I'm not even going to put it in here. Actually, I'll, I'll put it in the next one. But what I want to figure out is what is 50 minus 16? Do you know? Yes. Okay, 15 let's... minus 16. Well, 50 minus 10 uh -huh. is 40. Yes. Yeah. And then minus 6 yeah. is 44. Close. I mean, 34. 34, good. So our new thing on the right says 34. So we still have the same teeter-totter going on. And we know that this zero doesn't really mean anything, right? So R and R together are equal to 34. So I'm going to rewrite this so it's a little cleaner looking for us. We can get rid of that zero now. So we have our teeter-totter. We have our bar. And what goes in the middle of the teeter-totter? The equal sign. The equal sign, okay. So we have 34. And on this side, we just have R. Plus R. Plus R. So, are the R's going to be different numbers? Yes. 
They are. They yeah. say, they represent the exact same thing. Can he have two different amounts of regular cards? Can he have 15 and 10 regular cards? No. No, they're all one thing, right? So how many R's are there? Two. Two. So we have one value, and we need to make it equal between these two. Do you know what operation we would use to make it equal between these two? 34 divided by 2. That's right. We need to split it in half. Okay? So when we split 34 in half, okay, what are we going to do? How do you split it in half? You put 34 mm -hmm. divided by 2. Okay. And that's going to give us 34 divided by 2. It's going to give us what amount? It's going to give us 34. Should we get a calculator out? Two? Take a guess. Mm. See how close you are. Uh, I want to say 15. It's going to be really close to 15. It's going to be 17. 17. Good. So we know that it's 17. So what have we just figured out? What is 17? 17 regular Yeah, cards? it's regular cards. So in other words, we can rewrite our teeter-totter at the end. Okay. Here's our equal sign. In the middle. Yeah. 17 is on the right. What's on the left? What is equal to 17? Uh, 17 is, uh, oh, what is equal to 17? You just Maybe. told me it was, what does it stand Regular for? cards. Regular cards. So R is equal to 17. So look at that. We just figured out how many regular cards he has. He has 17, 17 regular cards. Now, that's only one of the amounts, right? We still got to figure out valuable cards. Which piece of information will help us find valuable cards? Mm, the uh, B. B, that's right. What can we do with this R? What can we replace it with? 17. Yes, so let's do that. I'm going to rewrite it. Okay, so V is equal to? 17 plus 16. 17 plus 16. You've got to figure out what that is. 17 plus 16 is... Uh, 20, 30, 29? Okay, it's not far from that. 30, I was going to say 30. That's good, that's a good guess. So, 33. So apparently his valuable cards, there are 33 of them. So here's the important part. we got to check to make sure that's true. 33 and 17. Yeah, to, well, to 50. And do they? Ooh. Uh. I don't know, let's find out. 33. Plus 17 equals? 33. Let me read this for me. Plus 17 equals 50. That's right. So did it work? Yes. We got it. Good. Okay. And that's kind of called like a balancing. I put that.